Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a overview of some of the Super Tarts Chris Melts or Christmas Melts. I heard that she was going to be restocking some of these this next week and I thought it would be a good time to go ahead and just talk about the ones that I have. And I'm also going to be putting them in my melt box because I've had these since last year and I feel like some of the clamshells are starting to look a little bit old even though I know they're fine. I just want to put them in my melt box and this is the perfect time to warm them. I will come back with a warm review on just the Super Tarts Christmas melt so I can give you a better idea. But let's go ahead. I've pulled up her list of the Christmas melts so that I can talk about some of the ones that I don't have. I'm going to go ahead and start with Die Hard. And this one I've been hanging on to because I remember hearing about this one. It was in one of the advent calendars and then she made it into a clam. This is pine needles and sugar cookies. And so you can see in the clamshell it's looking a little ratchety. This one is hard for me to... It's got the, like, like that sweet bakery, the cookie smell. The pine is very light in there so I'm very interested to see what comes out on that one when I warm it. Actually, I was thinking about warming that one pretty soon, like today. The next one on her list is Frosty, and I did order that one when it came out, but I am not a fan of sugar milk, so sugar milk is a no-go. However, this is not included in her crisp melt, but, <coughs> excuse me, this is not included in her Christmas scents, but this is Rosalie, which is Twisted Peppermint and Coconut Cream Pie. I like this one much better than her Frosty, which is the sugar milk. This one I think could be classified as a Christmas scent because it does have that peppermint in it. And it's super creamy. This one is also very similar to Rose Girl's Peppermint Coconut Mallow, which is easier to get because you can get it in mini melters, so that's just something to think about too. Okay, so the next one is Cranks. I don't think I have that one. I think I warmed it and did not like it because it is sweet gingerbread cookies and cotton candy frosting. I just didn't like the gingerbread cookie smell. I think I just don't like gingerbread. Jack Frost, which is herbal lavender, fresh mint leaf, and lemon curd. I don't think I've ever tried that one. That one never sounded appealing to me. That one sounds more like a non-Christmas melt to me. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. I think I might try to order that one this go-around it's eggnog and apple cider. That just sounds interesting to me. So let's see, Rudolph. I have that one. This is cranberry cobbler and cornbread. I believe I warmed one of these last year, but I had two. So I just thought I'd go ahead and warm the second one. This one, I don't know how I feel about. I don't remember. I don't think I like loved it last year. So it's cute how she did like the antlers in there. That's really nice. This one is, I think it's her iced cranberry. I had a potion pack in iced cranberry and it smells very similar. The cornbread is not too Frito scented like I think some people call it, so. The next one is White Christmas and I do have that one. Let's see, White Christmas, which is, there we go. It's peppermint frosted cranberry, serendipity, and vanilla bean gelato. So that's what that looks like. My friend Lauren absolutely loves this one and that's what inspired me to go ahead and order it. This one smells really good. I don't know if it's, if it's that vanilla bean that really creams everything out. This one smells amazing and you do smell a little bit of the, the peppermint cranberry. That's nice. That's really good. I'm going to try that one and see if I need a reorder on that one. I don't know what she's restocking this next week, but hopefully she'll go ahead and just do the whole line. Family Stone, which I don't have, I'm surprised. Cinnamon Glazed Vanilla Beans. This one, that is such a creamy scent. And it's not super strong on the cinnamon. Like, I don't feel like cinnamon, I don't like strong cinnamon. I feel like it's creamed out enough that it's not too harsh. Home Alone is... Gosh, it's been a long time since I've had Home Alone. It is sweet chocolate drizzle with confectioner sugar, marshmallow cream, cookie dough, vanilla, and milk chocolate chips. Oh, it says retired, so I wonder if she doesn't make it anymore. I don't know. 
Grinch uh, I've had before and I it's not one of my favorites. To me it just smelled like an apple cinnamon scent and I didn't feel like it was original enough to reorder. Scrooged I do have here and Scrooge is Sweater Weather and Cactus and Sea Salt. This one is really an anytime melt. This one would be good if you want to just break up the scent of like really strong Christmas and bakery and you want something a little bit cleaner. This one is actually really pretty. I'm not the biggest fan of Cactus and Sea Salt anymore, but that Sweater Weather is really nice coming through. Again, I'm going to have to warm this one to see how much that Cactus and Sea Salt comes out. So... Elf. Yes, I do have Elf. I love Elf. I felt like I had more Elf, but maybe I don't. So this is Elf, and this is uh, candy, candy canes, candy corn syrup topped with sweet bubbles. So this one is really sweet. It is very, very sweet. You get the candy canes. You can kind of smell a bit of a fizzy note. But I wouldn't say it's super strong. I almost want to say maybe this is Elf Sweat, like a similar Elf Sweat. I don't know. I've never had Elf Sweat. This one I really enjoy. Just sweet and creamy. A little bit fizzy. I like that one. And then we have Nightmare Before Christmas, which I have had before, and I'm not opposed to it. It's herbal lavender, sweet candy canes, and fluffy cotton candy. That one, yeah, that one you just have to try. Christmas Vacation, I do have that one. This is one of my favorites. If you make a heavy meal, where did it go? A Christmas, no, not a Christmas story. Where am I? Oh, Christmas Vacation. <laughs> Freshly cut Christmas tree and crisp snowy spearmint. This one is super strong and it will clear out your house of any harsh smells that are going on it's pretty strong on the spearmint but I do smell the Christmas tree so I feel like maybe it's 50 50 it's like when you smell things I don't know if this happens to you guys but like sometimes you'll smell something a bit stronger and then you smell it again and it'll smell stronger on something else this one's just really bright crisp fresh and I love what she did on the bottom that's really a lot of fun and who doesn't love Christmas Vacation? That's like our every year movie. Okay, so the Santa Claus, which is creamy eggnog, spicy fireball, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I don't have it, so I'm not going to talk about it. Polar Express. I think I do like that one. Bad Santa. I don't like Bad Santa because of the satin sheets. Prancer. Do you have Prancer? This is a great one. I didn't actually really even look at this one until my friend Angie had mentioned it to me that she warms it every time at Christmas or on Christmas Day. Oh, this one is really good. It's a mix of Christmas tree and mistletoe. Wait. Oh, no. Sorry. Mistletoe and tinsel. I feel like this is supposed to be like reindeer poop. <laughs> I don't like tinsel on its own, but mixed with Christmas, or not, why, why do I keep saying Christmas tree? Mistletoe, because they're basically the same thing. It's like a Christmas tree type scent. Yeah, this one is just really nice. It's mostly like I just smell, my nose picks up Christmas tree because I don't know what tinsel smells like, so, but it is in there. A Christmas story, which is that hot orange Danish type scent. And to me, I the last time I had Christmas Story, I had overdone it on hot orange Danish scents. I don't know why. I went crazy. And so I was sick of hot orange Danish. So when I warmed Christmas Story, like I wasn't blown away. Like I didn't think it was super original. But I know a lot of people like that one. Miracle on 34th. Which I think never gets enough love. If you like Mr. Myers, I think you'll like this one. This is fresh fallen leaves and creamy pumpkin pie topped with toasted marshmallows. To me, Miracle on 34th has the same undertone as Mr. Myers. It has that same, well, obviously it has the f fresh fallen leaves, but I feel like it's creamy, like Mr. Myers, if you know what I'm talking about. I don't know that I smell pumpkin pie in here. 
my nose just picks up mostly like that Mr. Myers scent. It is different than Mr. Myers for sure, but you know, I, I need to warm that one to really get a better assessment. Holiday Latte. My friend Angie loves this one. This one, I don't know how I feel about though. So this is Holiday Latte. And this is crispy gingerbread cookies dunked in a freshly brewed latte. I think the only reason that I don't love this one is because of the gingerbread scent. Just not loving gingerbread scents. It does smell pretty good on that latte. I'll have to try this one again. It's, like I said, it's been a year since I've warmed these. So. so that's why I'm just doing the overview and then I'll warm them and come back and give you my impressions. So I do plan on warming through all of my Christmas. Grandma's house, you know, I had that. I just didn't think enough of it. I de-stashed it. I didn't think enough of it to keep it. I do want to try it again though. P.F. Chang's, you guys know this is one of my favorites. P.F. Chang's probably has to be one of my top scents. This is a great bakery scent. Oh, it is just so freaking good. It is. Flaky pecan rugula cookies dusted with a hint of cinnamon, warm creamy challah bread, and a buttery brown sugar. It is just, it is like similar to like a, a sweet bread. Like you definitely get a bready note, but it is so sweet on warm. It makes your house smell warm and inviting and like you cook something amazing in the oven. I love P.F. Chang's, always a favorite. So the next ones, I don't have any of the next ones, but I am gonna talk about one more. Wonderful Life is Peppermint, Frosted Grapefruit, Orange, Pink Sugar, and Vanilla Ice Cream. I did not like that one for some reason. I just didn't like it. I think it had too much orange and the pink sugar was a turn off. Alfie, I need to try this one. My friend Angie loves this one as well. Fluffy marshmallows, candy canes, and Christmas cookies. I don't know why, that just sounds good to me. I don't know why I never jumped on the back bandwagon on that. Love Actually, I did have. It's pumpkin, pecan, waffle, sweet lavender cream, and vanilla bean noel. I don't like her sweet lavender cream, so that's why I couldn't get on board with Love, Love Actually. Now, the last one I'm going to talk about is Emmett, because I think it would fall underneath Christmas time stuff because of the pine. So this is woodsy pine and strawberry juice, so I thought I'd just talk about this one real quick. I am going to warm this one this week as well. Yeah, this one is pretty strong on pine, so I think you could get away with this as a Christmas or winter melt. For sure, this one just smells really good. Mm, and you do smell that strawberry juice, and to me, her, like some of her strawberries are all different, but to me, this one is a super, it's more along the lines of like a sweet, fresh picked strawberry, which I really like. So, yeah, I'm gonna be putting that in my those in my weekly warm warming basket for the week and I have a video my daughter and I did a video of when I hauled a bunch of Christmas scents all at once so I probably talked about some of the ones that I don't have in that video I will try to link it down below if you guys want to check that out it's a little bit more on the fun side because I'm with my daughter so if you don't like that kind of video then just pass on over it but if you want to see more Christmas scents because I think I did haul some of the ones that I did not talk about. Okay, that is it. I'm going to be back with my warming basket here in a few, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.